We had a guy come and clear out the trees. The spot is prepped. Me and Jamie got it all cleaned up over the last two days. This is so exciting. We found a really nice delivery guy, and he is here now on time, and he's getting it in with the mule. Big things. Big things are happening. house, shed, storage, whatever, delivery to our land. You may wonder why we have so many sheds. <laughs> well, first of all, they make amazing little houses, amazing tiny houses. Second, they are beautiful storage places. Third, they're extremely cheap. Uh, probably, I would say, half the cost of a regular shed. And probably a 20th of what a tiny house would be. Um, also, we, you know, we would, you know, most people put a huge house on their land and store, you know, whatever in that house and then they get a garage and they get other sheds. So we're kind of just beating them to the punch and we're just doing a tiny house and then getting all the sheds for storage. So this one is actually going to be our utility shed. This is where I'm going to kind of figure out how we can do a shower so that we can use that year round. I don't believe it's practical to have a shower in every little house, guest house, tiny house, whatever. So it's kind of a communal area that we can utilize in the winter time and potentially just throughout the summer and fall, you know, have the outdoor shower, but have a kind of a more secure place for whatever the weather is giving us. So that will be kind of a later project as we have the outdoor shower already set up that we don't really need it right now. So this is a complete shell for us to work through. We have to do insulation, drywall, flooring. Julianne will put in a dividing wall because one side is going to be the bathroom with a shower and the other side will be like a uh, washer dryer area with hopefully a fridge. We're hoping to get one set up, uh, electrical outlet type set up on the land because, you know, our goal isn't necessarily to be off grid as much as it is to be saving money. So I would rather run those things with a little electricity than with gas as we have been doing for some of our bigger stuff. So our goal is obviously to find ways around, you know, we want a root cellar and you know, obviously if I have to, I'll do things by hand, but you know, if we can utilize easier ways of living in the meantime, we absolutely will do that. So 
this is going to be like a long-term project. In the meantime, I get to use it as storage, which I love. So this is going to be like my little organizing day. So windy. Pretty much I'm moving all of the items of storage out of Julianne's workshop and I'm going to move it in here. Uh, that way we have kind of a little bit more of a setup that she can utilize her workshop and get to things and build things in there. And we have a nice spot for storage. We do have a shed that's coming specifically for storage. So, but until we get the road figured out, that won't happen. So. Well, let's get to work. I'm gonna tell Julian on camera because it's so exciting. So, uh, by the way, now I feel like I have to be like, I'm so excited and she has no idea why. Okay, mm. so. Oh, <laughs> Julian. <laughs> okay, so I'm over here cleaning out some shed stuff and all the dogs go nuts and I see an Amish buggy like riding by and at first I like was like, oh my gosh. Is it someone for Ferris? And then they stopped up there. Oh, was it Sam? And I was like, oh shoot, are they coming to take Ferris? And Ferris was like going nuts. So I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? So I came up. I knew somebody arrived. I heard and them And Sam, this Amish guy we met, so, so nice. nice. He was down measuring for um, a, a cabinet. By the way, you so are he, literally telling a story like I tell a story now. He recognized our little sheds and he goes, oh, I think this must be those girls. Well, we tell them why. Yeah, so yeah. Sam came by to tell us that he thinks that he can actually give us a pair of baby goats tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> yes! We're getting baby goats tomorrow! <laughs> oh my gosh. So now we're going from a family of nine kids <laughs> To a family of, of what? Eleven? <laughs> By the way, they're the cutest little baby goats. And we, so sweet. They got our hopes wait, wait, up. They I were like both boys or a boy and girl? I think it's a boy and a girl. I wow. think. So they got our hopes up about them. He's we like, went out and saw them and then they're like, no, we're not. Jamie, so yeah, Jamie. he came by. He's to say, like, after seeing how much they support the Amish community with all their I know. sheds. Oh, I can't even believe it. We are literally been praying for goats. And it's kind of crazy because so said, like, we, it's hard to find goats, first of all. Well, we learned that. So we wanted goats, but we weren't sure about when. So this year was a iffy, but once we learned actually how difficult it is to find goats, we definitely were more about when the opportunity comes, seize it. So we learned about the same guy, so we seized the moment, but it fell through. And yeah. that was literally a week a ago, week ago yeah. yesterday or tomorrow. I am like in shock right now. I can't, we are getting baby goats. Like this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait, where are the baby goats gonna live? I figure we can put them in there until you get something better down there. We can stick them. Until the barn's ready. Yeah. So, exciting news, which is good. Mm -hmm. I came up with this last week to build a tiny little mini barn. Uh, off grid. I've watched so many people's stories of the difficulties of dot, dot, dot. 
So when it comes to tending to all of our kids, the ducks, the chickens, the goats, <laughs> and then Ferris, and now the kitty cats, <laughs> oh my which gosh. are so many. So basically trying to think, how can I best tend to, we best tend to them in the winter time specifically. So I came up with the idea of let's build them a barn instead. Nothing big, nothing that needs like a permit, and it would be my first big structure build. But I would feel so much more safe having all of them together. Yeah. And then I'm really hopeful that Ferris will sleep in the middle. So at this point, Ferris is still sleeping only outdoors, but I'm hoping that like he likes the ducks. I think he'll become friends with the goats. So we've been kind of hoping to get goats so Ferris can have outdoor yeah. friends all the time too. Okay, so also I learned how the Amish mow their lawn. Goats. You should see his lawn. It's not perfect, but like, it's, it's mowed.